In this video, we'll take a look at uh, how to compute the cash flow for a series of payments when you need to pay an income tax at some point and when there is some depreciation also involved. And we'll go over what uh, depreciation really means very briefly. So let's say you have a house that uh, you'd like to rent out. Um, let's assume you purchase a house for $200,000. And um, let's say you want to rent it out, uh, it rents out for um, maybe $40,000 uh, per year. This is your revenue. Now out of this revenue, you need to pay some expenses. One of them is property tax, which let's assume is $3,000. Uh, miscellaneous expenses, another 500, you know, maybe $1,000 uh, for maintenance and such. And uh, you have a tax rate, let's say the tax rate is 30%. That means that you need to pay um, income tax of 30% on any profit that you make from this revenue. And let's say that the depreciation that's applicable is over a 10 year period, okay? So you uh, are allowed for income tax purposes to depreciate the cost of the house over a 10 year period. So let me just actually perform the computation. So your depreciation per year would be the cost of the house divided by the number of years over which you depreciate. And what this really means is that the income tax um, uh, authority or the government uh, recognizes that the value of your house might decrease by about 20,000 every year. You know, that may not be strictly true, but they do allow it for tax purposes. Um, and these are just fictitious rates here. A 10 year depreciation may or may not be uh, actually allowed by where you live. So you should obviously check your, your regulations for that. But if you do have a 10 year depreciation or and if a straight line depreciation is allowed that means that you can deduct 20000 from the cost of your house as an expense on a yearly basis so that your reportable income now is your total revenue which is 40000 minus the sum of all your expenses which is property tax and miscellaneous expenses and your depreciation now i want to point out that these are the three expenses, 3,000, 1,000, and 20,000. Of these three, you're actually paying out $3,000 in property tax. You're actually paying out $1,000 in maybe miscellaneous maintenance expenses and so on, but you're not actually paying out this $20,000. Uh, this is a notional expense, um, so uh, that is something to keep in mind. It's not actually money going out of your pocket. It is just a notional expense that the government allows in some cases for you to recognize with respect to your asset. So that your reportable income is $16,000 and the tax that you pay is the reportable income times your income tax rate, which is 30%. So you pay a tax of $4,800 and that results in a net income of 16,000 minus 4,800, which is $11,200. But is your net income the same thing as your cash flow? It is not because your cash is uh, including the depreciation that you counted as an expense, but it really is not some money that's going out of your pocket. So you still have this 20,000 cash that you counted as an expense. So you need to add that back to your net income. So your cash flow is really your net income plus your $20,000. So your actual cash flow is $31,200.